Hello, Internet Discovery. Yes, I'm using my SD cam. Hence why it's so wide angled. It's a wide angle one I have anyway, but whatever, that's not the point. Uh, whenever you use BitTorrent, I use it often. Not to download shit, but to feed it, and nothing more. Which is fun. The disappointing factor is, there's no demand at all for new shit. You know, you know why? It seems like there's no demand for it? Because the trackers themselves have been getting hit with massive DDoS attacks. Denial of service attacks, for one thing. Likely by botnets. I don't know what the fuck is happening, but that's pretty much what's now happening. And nobody can get to whatever's being shared. And I have to acknowledge that some artists and content creators are actually using BitTorrent as a way to, you know, share their content. And it is ridiculously efficient. So, I feel for those that are trying to share their content to get it out there, but are being hindered by motherfuckers hitting these private or public trackers, depending on what they are, with a denial of service attack. And there's literally no recourse for it. For anyone trying to seek out a very, very ancient movie or a TV show that's not otherwise available via the common free methods people pay for, you know, they can't get to it because the trackers are down and this sucks so if you've been curious about why it's been taking forever to download whatever it is flip depending on your BitTorrent client the peer-to-peer -peer whatever flip the trackers tab when you select the torrent or select them all whatever look for could not connect the tracker or connection failed or it may say tracker failed or Tracker not found, or unable to connect the tracker. That's your evidence right there of a denial of service attack, knocking the tracker's light out, and rendering your acquiration or accumulation of what media useless. Yeah, I don't know if it's a big media, you know, the ones that produce the movies, the big movie producers or whatever, big studios, or uh, these uh, film studios or whatever, or these, you know, copyright trolls or patent trolls or whatever the fuck they are, they're probably doing that using dirty money to knock out the peer-to-peer -peer services. Or yes, to, yes, knock out public trackers. It's pathetic. Really, really fucking pathetic. Like what they're doing. And plus, sometimes using their cat dog lawyers to send threats to internet service providers. Yeah, I admit I gotten a few of those, but for shit that's completely unrelated to what I was downloading. So, yeah, sometimes my ISP splits IP addresses amongst other people and I just happen to get those emails forwarded to me to my internet service provider. Yeah, the internet service provider will do that. They do, on occasion, give you a new IP address and then you're stuck with whoever else uh, did something, which is so stupid. But other than that, yeah, this sucks. This really does suck. So, they're hitting the public trackers to make it impossible for people to download things, so. And I know how uh, much of a pain in the ass it would be to actually take down the actual tracker affected, change the IPv4 v or v6 IP address on it, and then put it back online because, you know, or maybe you rather expensive DDoS mitigation services. I don't know. Could they potentially do that? Yes, they could. But would it be effective? I don't fucking know. Because I don't host a, pu a public or private tracker. At least, no, I don't host it at all. Not even for home. Not even for work because, well, I can't. Because work doesn't do these sorts of things. They don't have server rooms that I can access or whatever, because, you know, it's just, whatever. So, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but whoever's running these public trackers, 
maybe they gotta get DDoS mitigation services in order to uh, resolve this problem. And we can extensively hope this actually helps. Because it's a pain in the ass. It's a real big fucking pain in the ass. I'm trying to dedicate my bandwidth to CD. Yes, it helps. It definitely helps. But without the trackers working, what's the fucking point, really? Like, what is the fucking point? I really wish these uh, big time studio companies or whatever the filmmaking companies would, or whatever the fuck they are would stop spending, would stop using dirty money in order to pay some stupid insidious company with a botnet they're controlling in order to knock out these trackers. Because that's just never going to stop anything from happening. Because people still, yes, go place to place with an archive of drives or rewritable media of any kind and they're just gonna simply do it the old fashioned way. You are driving people to do shit the old fashioned way. You are driving people to use cloud storage to transfer files in the exact same fucking manner. And yeah, peer to peer, BitTorrent or whatever the hell you call it, because there's many names to it, is only going to evolve and it's only going to find a way around whatever you're doing to try and stop it which is next to impossible yeah it's going to evolve evolve nicely it's going to turn into blockchain yeah i know this very easy to predict it's going to move over the blockchain and then there's fuck all you can do about it yeah that's what's actually going to be happening. And wait, hold on a second. It already has. <laughs> it already fucking has. And there's absolutely nothing you can do to uh, stop it. So, I just thought I'd make this video. Anyways, that's all. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Overlay was done with uh, Kaden Live. That was something I created myself. Peace.